Okay, looks like I'm going to have to grab a sniper rifle today just for daily quests, but... Camp Cuddle and Outpost. So the vacation was nice, and now it's over. And the Velocicoaster at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure is probably the best roller coaster I've ever been on. Thank you. Your birthday is also on the March 17th. Awesome. Well, happy birthday early. Hope the trip was nice and uneventful. Hannah will be here in a bit. Cool. So I can do some fishing. I can talk to NPCs. All right. We're not worried about where we place, or I'm not worried about where I place. I'm just knocking out quests and milestones. I don't have to keep thinking the bus driver, though, because I finished that one. So that's good. don't know is where I need to go.
It's you... been a hot minute since I seen ya. Welcome back. 17 months subbed. Thanks, Hot Rod. Thanks for the sub. Did you like the Leonard French video about how evil the new Texas law about kids is? I've never heard of Leonard French. I don't know who it is. I don't know if I watched that video. Um, I didn't spend any time watching videos about the Texas law and whether or not it was evil. Matt playing Fortnite, I feel weird. First time chatter saying something that 50,000 other people have said. I feel weird too. It, it, it happens every single time I stream Fortnite, which I've been doing for a few months now. And every time I'm like, why is that weird? What, what are people talking about? I mean, do I prefer Valorant to Fortnite? You bet. Did I start playing this so I could play with my niece and my brother? Yeah. But what's weird? Did you guys not know that I ran the number one Counter-Strike team in the world? Helped create esports? What's weird is the number of people who are like, think this is weird. I should have grabbed a boat. I could just flip. Oh my God, you stream Fortnite so weird. Thank you, sweetie. I hear you in the background. Make good products. For me, it's weird because seeing you gaming in general is odd, although I know you said before you stream games, I've just never seen it. Okay. Well, that sounds like a you problem. Tonight's AXP should be epic. Shannon Kienfield Ferguson. Yep, looking forward to it. Many machines. Oh, I need to open chests. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that one later. So it's hit with sniper rifles. What else have I got? Milestones. I should go fishing or something. Turn around, I dare you. Hey, Silver Tribe, I'm doing all right. Had a good vacation. Where 
Where are you at? Just need to do damage with sniper rifles, so there we go. Alright, well I got 86, so good. I'm only going for quests, I don't care where I finish. I finished first a gazillion times now. Uh I even put it in the title before anybody comes in. It's like, oh, God, you suck. Why are you finishing in 45th place? Because I'm just going for milestone quests and dailies. And I hear I got a message from uh, Objectively Dan. I hear that he has started streaming on Twitch. And uh, we might be streaming some head-to-head -head chess or something. It's like I'm going to have to do more damage with sniper rifles. I'm going to go ahead and go for cuddle. So how's everybody else doing? I had a great time in Florida. We did the free flow convention and it went well. And I survived my first 45 minute talk in like two and a half years. I did some prep work for the magic show that I'm going to do at American Atheist next month. Uh, I also did some prep work for videos that I'm going to do in the next week. And um, then after free flow, we went to, we had a two day park to park pass for Universal Studios and uh, Islands of Adventure. And we did them both in one day and we decided not to go back, not because there was anything wrong with it. It was it was fine. Uh, look, I could hear you clomping around. So yeah, we, we did uh, just the one day. There's nothing wrong with it. The Lost Coaster is probably the best coaster I've ever been on. And we hung out with her parents quite a bit. And I enjoyed myself. We went out on a gambling boat where I made about 500 bucks or so. Vacation was fine. And then we drove back on Friday and Saturday while I was arguing with people uh, on TikTok and Twitter, but I didn't have time to, to do anything. I'm so sick of all these poking fun of people who drive trucks memes when gas prices go up. 
So I went and did a bunch of research because, you know, it's, it's, it's a load of bullshit. For example, Arden's brand new car or new to her car gets exactly the same mileage as my truck does. And there are plenty of vehicles that get worse. And you don't see memes about those, about how you need testosterone or you've got a tiny penis or whatever. I, I don't know what they're... It's just oversimplifying stuff in order to mainly poke fun at rednecks. You know, the same reason we all adopt a southern accent when we're trying to sound stupid. That's the same reason they go after trucks. Despite the fact not knowing what anybody's life is like and who does and doesn't need them and to what extent. Fuck are you guys? Are you both in the water? Wow. So I'll open a couple more chests here. Hey, thanks, Brad. Yeah, vacation was really good. We were, we were planning to go back a second day, and uh, we just decided not to. It was plenty good. Yeah. You know, I don't mind if you say, hey, your your truck is uh, worse fuel efficiency than my electric vehicle. Yeah, it is. I know that. But I couldn't do the things that I do in my truck in your electric vehicle. And actually, like, Arden's got a, a little SUV that doesn't get any better gas mileage than I do and hauls less. And so if you want to start going through the list of things that people do and don't need or to what extent people do and don't need stuff, uh, you know, I can't think of a need for that that isn't met by a truck. Other than being easier to park. Her car is definitely easier to park. And that's, you know. Plus, a good chunk of the people who have trucks went out and did research and or, or at least learned that Trucks hold their value better than almost any other car on the planet. And so the return on investment for trucks is just way better. But it's, you know, it's, it's just easy when, we, when we're frustrated, we need something to mock, gas prices go up, Ah, oh, ha, 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 you Merkins and your trucks and your tiny penises and whatever. I don't, it, I, it's just obnoxious that we're making bad arguments and just shrugging them off as if they're not bad. Oh, I forgot. I don't have thwips this time. Well, this is going to get ugly. That was stupid. Youngster89 says, hello, Matt. Hello. I should have left long before I did.
just want to get the sniper shots. I will try to look at chat when I'm not about to die. about dead and no hope of living in sight. <clears throat> Maybe I can get another sniper shot in. Stop crouching and run, motherfucker. Why was I crouching?
Okay, what the fuck's going on? Also, this video about you concerning your heart, it was awesome. Thanks. A while back, you said West Wing was one of your favorite series. Me and my wife have been watching recently. Holy crap, it's great. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. How is Matt doing without team carrying? Literally said repeatedly, I'm only working on quests. I don't give a fuck. The Matt rage is real? What, what rage? Being irritated the game was crotching when it wasn't supposed to be? That's right. I'm so bored with the people talking about a anger. I've played fucking rage games on, on stream just because, oh, let's see how Matt does with a rage game. I do just fucking fine. I don't get irritated at all. Rage. Bring your bring your rage. Yes, when something doesn't work the way it's supposed to be and you get upset for an instant, that's rage. Yeah, chickens attack now. LMBO. Laughing my balls off? Are you afraid to say ass? Gas stations, open chest at Sanctuary or seven. Let's go over there. It reminds me of Zelda. Oh, just the chicken part. I suppose so. Laugh my butt out. I don't know what laugh my butt out means. Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware that there are loot chickens. Same way there were loot crows. You got this? You're saying the weirdest things. I don't know. I don't need rooting on when I'm just fucking doing quests. Yes, I'm aware that I can go do the game in-game quests. Hurrah. All right, I got dailies done, so it's just milestones. Because I don't need that. Okay, I'll take a Purple Ranger, even though I don't really want it. What are the milestones? They're still open. I'll go check them out once I get some... Uh, some shield and plan out where I'm going to go for the storm. Wow. Somebody already cleaned all this out.
All right, so we need to go, wow, a long ways. I don't want to have the opportunity to join the stream. Love to see you. Hey, Hamatron. Cool. What are the milestones that are still open? Uh, quite a few of them. I, I need to do vending machine purchases, bandage med kits, travel on top of a car I can't do unless Arden's in here with me. But spend bars was, would also happen at vending machines. Uh, reboot teammates. I need teammates. Hunt wildlife. So basically, I need to kill all the chickens. Uh, I need to feed clomberries to a clombo. A few more times. Destroy trees. Opponent structures. Consume forage items. Complete bounties. Catch fish. So a bunch of stuff that I really can't do. But evidently, I can visit a gas station. Fan, I like the question is not you should try playing a game called Divinity Original Sin 2. A, do you know whether or not I've I have played it? B, do you know that I would like it? C, do you know that I'm looking for recommendations on what games to play? But the answer to all of which is no. Not looking for game recommendations. I haven't played Divinity. And I'm not playing this because I like the quest stuff. I'm killing time and leveling up. If my dad gets the job, he'll be moving to Maryland in the Baltimore area. If you've been there, is it a nice place? I did a single debate at UMBC. Uh... And so I don't remember much of any of it. Well, I'm at least in the circle. So yeah, I don't know much about the Baltimore area. But stick around and chat. Maybe somebody from the Baltimore area will chime in. In any case, welcome, imaginary librarian. Imaginarian. Should have looked. Well, it happens all day, all the time. Bitch. I'm driving up on me in a car with a shotgun. I may just be primarily doing quests, but, you know, I'm not hot garbage.
I don't have any clone berries for clone boy. So I guess I missed Diablo 2. I haven't be played Diablo 2 in months. Dildo was taken. What you're seeing is a bug. Where it reports that I'm playing Diablo 2 when I'm not. Nothing I can do about it. I've logged directly into Twitch to change it. You're, I'm guessing you're probably on mobile. Since that seems to be where it's primarily broken. Bite me. Don't go chasing to try to kill me. You really aren't that fucking good. Still want to get a better weapon. Got the email notes that said you're playing Diablo 2 regardless. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. It's been that way for months. Don't know what to do. I, I don't think there's anything I can do. But I, I've logged into Twitch and tried to change it. I'm, I've changed it in Streamlabs. Well, I'm top 12, but I don't have the weapon I'd want. I'm really just looking for wildlife to kill. And we'll have a new storm circle. And my phone just beeped, which means I just got a notification. Oh, it's Sunday and I'm streaming and ACA shows are on. I've never streamed against ACA shows before. Uh, and I said I wouldn't. So why are you guys watching me instead of ACA shows? Oh, wait, is it? It's one o'clock. So is talk even over? Or talking talking and just went live. I bet that's what this is about. Let me check real quick. Yep, that's what it is. So we're gonna end the stream. Y'all should go watch. Uh, talk heathen. I'm not going to do a watch party. But I'll be back on, oh, I don't know, either later tonight or tomorrow. Y'all have fun. Take care.